welcome to the Go Potty podcast. I'm Rebecca Mottram, a children's nurse with a special interest in potty training. This podcast presents a new way of potty training, one that is backed by science and child development. So get ready to be surprised at what you'll learn and get ready for some fun too, because children learn best through play. Each episode will explore a key aspect of potty training with practical tips and expert advice all proven to work. So whether you're just starting out or you've already started, I'm really glad you're here. Welcome back to another episode of the Go Potty podcast. I'm your host, Rebecca Mottram, and in this episode, I want to cover another essential aspect of potty training, which is how to understand what your child's body is telling them and help them to understand it too. Have you ever noticed your child staring into space or going quiet? These might be signs that they need to do a wee or a poo. Helping your child to become more aware of their body's messages will really help them develop body awareness and means that when the time comes to stop using nappies, they will have started to master this vital skill. So when you notice signs like fidgeting or crossing of legs, take a moment to explain to your child that these are their body's way of letting them know it's time to go potty. By involving them in the decision-making process, you can empower them to recognise these feelings for themselves. You might say something like, "Mm, I can see you fidgeting and I think that's your body's way of letting you know it's time for a wee. It's much better to offer this information than ask a question, because if you do, you'll probably get a no for the answer. If your child doesn't show outward signs of needing to go, don't worry. You can learn the average time interval between their wees. This is different for every child, but for toddlers, it's usually every one to two hours. You can download my free guide to your child's bladder capacity and ideal fluid intake via the link in the episode notes. You might also notice a pattern in their pooing habits, which will help you to predict when the next one might be coming. And if you know these things, you can help your child to notice them as well. And you can use this to help them succeed in using the potty at the right time once you get to that point. Understanding your child's natural signals and timing can help ensure that you prompt them only when their body is sending them the message that they need to go. This will really help you avoid over-prompting your child which can lead to resistance and refusal behaviours and even impact their overall bladder and bowel health. You want to avoid straining and allow the bladder the opportunity to fill to the point where it starts sending the brain the message that it needs to be emptied. Plus, after all, it's pretty hard to go and do a wee or a poo if your body isn't giving you the message that that's what needs to happen. You can also help your child understand how their body works by explaining the process. For example, you can talk about the sensations they might feel before doing a wee or a poo. In episode 5, I'll be teaching you about fun activities like making poo dough and teaching about the bladder with a balloon. This can make the learning about their body signals engaging and interactive. You can also find these in the companion guide to this podcast. By teaching your child to listen to their body, you're setting them up for potty training success. And that's all for this episode of the Go Potty podcast. I hope you found it helpful. Remember, you can do this. You know your child better than anyone, so trust in your instincts. Be patient with yourself and your little one, and most importantly, keep it fun and playful. And don't forget to get your copy of our podcast companion guide so you have all the strategies, games and activities when you need them. It's available via the link in the episode notes or on my website, littlebunnybear.com. Thank you for listening. Until next time, happy potty training.